Heruti within Snowflake is organized under databases. Let's create a database and a schema to hold all our Git repository objects. I'll be using Snowflake SQL worksheets to run all the commands for this demo. Now that we have created the database and schema, set those as our context for the rest of the demo, let's move on to step 2, creating an API integration. An API integration allows us to define an HTTPS proxy to an external service like a cloud service provider or a Git repository. For this demo, let's create an API integration to GitHub. I'm naming this API integration as Kamesh Sampath underscore Git, setting the provider to use Git HTTPS API. Next, I'll specify the allowed GitHub repositories. I'm setting it to my user organization. And finally, enable the API integration to be used by other objects. Now that we have created and enabled the Git API integration, let's proceed to create a Git repository. A Git repository object stores information about the Git repository you will be connecting to. Think of it like a Snowflake external stage connected to our Git repository. Let's create a Git repository named Git integration demo. Use the API integration that we created in the previous step. And finally, sets its origin. There we go. We got our Git repository created. We can use private repositories with Git in Snowflake. Check the demo sources for an example of that. Let's proceed to next step where we'll execute a script from our Git repository. Let's pull the latest from our repository. Then let us list all the files from the main branch. We see a file named demo.sql. Let's execute it. The script creates a table named todos, loads the todos.csv file onto it, and finally runs the select on the table. 